of everyone as the investigation into the deaths of two family members continues right now. A close friend is remembering a life lost. Yeah, we've been following this investigation for you surrounding the deaths at a home in the 100 block of Lakeside Drive in Claiborne County. A nurse visiting called authorities, the sheriff's office saying 53 year old Michael Parker and 23 year old Jordan Parker were both found dead when they arrived. The sheriff's office not yet releasing the cause of their deaths. Now we introduced you to Jordan and her father Michael back in 2016 when they were fighting for Jordan's health care benefits. Then we learned that Jordan was seriously injured in a car crash in 2012. We're told it left her a quadriplegic with a traumatic brain injury. Her older brother died following that same wreck. Michael was a single father and a local minister left to take care of Jordan with the help of her grandmother. Six on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel hearing from one of Jordan's dear friends remembering her tonight. This was my Easter card. Raven love flipping through some of the mementos. This is one of my favorite pictures. That's eighth grade markers of her and Jordan Parker's friendship. One that's been strong since preschool. We just were like sisters. We agreed about everything just soulmate best friends. Now she's remembering some of the best qualities about her 23 year old best friend. She had no flaws. Perfect, funny, beautiful. I mean, there's just there's not enough words to say. I wish there was, but literally nothing wrong with her. Jordan was a firecracker, Raven says, caring with a big heart and passionate about UT football. Also strong. That was exemplified in all she overcame, surviving a traumatic car accident in 2012 that left her with serious injuries. When she was in the hospital, I probably went like 30 days in a row. I just wanted her to hear my voice and maybe wake up and then I've never stopped. I always just wanted her to know how loved and special she was. So this day, as you can imagine, has been incredibly tough for Raven. I've screamed. I've cried, I've screamed, I've cried. I just kind of want to wake up from a nightmare. But Jordan is better. She is an angel. She was an angel here, and she's always going to be my angel. Now she's keeping the happy memories close to her heart and encouraging everyone to never lose hope, just like Jordan. She had the wheel of a warrior. She really was. And her middle name was Hope, and she always loved that hope. She always had hope. She never gave up. In Claiborne County, Elizabeth Kubel, WATE, six on your side. Again, we want to stress at this point, the investigation is still ongoing. And of course, we're going to update you as we learn more.